the New Jersey Pinelands National Reserve. It protects over 1.1 million acres of pine oak forest, Atlantic white cedar swamp, marsh, and coastline. Nearly as vast as the Yosemite National Park, it makes up the largest open space in the Mid-Atlantic, nestled between the metropolitan sprawl of New York and Philadelphia. One of its most vital natural resources is a vast water supply. The Kirkwood Cohansee Aquifer contains over 17 trillion gallons of fresh water. This water feeds most of the region's streams and wetlands, supporting life to countless organisms, including hundreds of thousands of New Jerseyans. In fact, 18th and 19th century sea captains once sought after and stored the cedar water from the Pine Barrens waterways due to its long storage life and sweet taste. The Pinelands National Reserve blossoms with life. It contains a rich collection of over 11,000 species of plants, fungi, and animals. To truly appreciate its wide berth of diversity, one must look to the forest floor. Most of the Pine Barrens diversity comes in the form of invertebrates, over 10,000 species. While certainly less charismatic than their larger and more handsome counterparts, the countless numbers of insects, worms, mollusks, arachnids, and other arthropods each serve their own significant ecological roles. These invertebrates also provide food for many other organisms, such as the state-endangered Cope's gray tree frog. These nocturnal frogs emerge from tree cavities and underground burrows in late April and early May in search of a mate. Like other amphibians in the pinelands, they rely on small, intermittent freshwater ponds. Females lay their eggs primarily on sphagnum moss. This moss is capable of absorbing vast amounts of water, the perfect conditions for their young. Gray tree frogs share their breeding ponds with a variety of fascinating flora and fungi, such as carnivorous sundews and brilliantly colored bog beacons. Once the eggs are fertilized, the tree frogs disperse into the upland forest, remaining there for the rest of the year. During the day, these ponds lay silent. But at night, the ponds erupt with sound. Copes and eastern gray tree frogs chirp alongside the fowler's toads and northern spring peepers. The male frogs beckon to the females, ready to do their part in ensuring the next generation. The beautifully colored Pine Barrens tree frog is a rare but welcome sight amongst the other creatures of the forest. Unique to the Pine Barrens ecosystem, this frog is seen as an unofficial mascot for the region. The many species found around the ponds are rarely seen in the larger streams and lakes of the pines. These areas are home to many of their predators. A large plethora of fish, turtles, and snakes live in these deeper waters. One of the most vital roles of the Pinelands lakes is to provide a home for permanent and migratory bird populations. Wading birds like the great egret. Canada geese and other migrants take advantage of the vegetation-rich waters to raise their young. While not true pine barrens, the National Reserve contains thousands of acres of coastal salt marsh. This marsh provides vital feeding and nesting grounds to thousands of shorebirds, including a variety of sandpipers, plovers, and gulls. State endangered species like the black skimmer and least tern are some of the most captivating species of the salt marsh. Like the freshwater lakes and ponds, the salt marsh is also home to wading birds, but many more can be found here. The great blue heron, great egret, snowy egret, and glossy ibis are common summer residents. 
Unfortunately, like the rest of the world, the New Jersey Pinelands are experiencing the woes brought about by climate change. Sea level rise, which causes increased flooding and saltwater intrusion, threatens to destroy many of the region's delicate ecosystems. The critically important salt marsh, providing food and breeding grounds to thousands of birds and other organisms, are at risk of being completely inundated. Rutgers University researchers have found that New Jersey's sea level is rising at the equivalent rate of 1.34 feet in 100 years, and they expect that number to rise. Intense flooding, exacerbated by sea level rise, has already created ghost forests throughout the Pinelands. These Atlantic white cedars were killed as a result of storm surges pushing salty water further inland than ever before. Warmer temperatures, also brought on by climate change, can be conducive to introduced species. The green tree frog, first discovered in New Jersey in 2011, is usually found in the warmer climate of the southeastern United States. However, since their introduction here on the Delaware Bay shore, they have been spreading further inland and northward towards the Pinelands, where they have the potential to displace the native tree frogs. Swift global action is needed to prevent climate change from having a significant impact on the New Jersey Pinelands and other ecosystems around the world. Like the constant crashing of waves upon the shore, the world's ecosystems are now constantly under siege. How we act in the next few years will define how we want our planet to look. The question remains, will it be a world we still recognize? <laughs>